Welcome to an intro example on how to factor by grouping. Taking a look at the given expression, notice how we have a degree two expression, and therefore this is a quadratic expression. Notice how we have an even number of terms which is required to factor by grouping. And also notice how these two middle terms are like terms. So to factor by grouping, we don't want to combine these like terms, but notice how if we did, because negative 35x plus one x is equal to negative 34x, the given expression is equivalent to 7x squared minus 34x minus five. In our next lesson, we'll learn how we can factor these types of quadratic expressions when the leading coefficient a doesn't equal one by the factor by grouping technique. But for this example, because it's already set up for us, we're just getting comfortable with the factor by grouping technique. So step one is going to be to divide or group the polynomial into two halves. Again, this is what we have to have an even number of terms. The first half would be the first two terms. The second half would be the second two terms. So let's go ahead and write this as seven x squared minus 35 x. So that's the first half. And the second half is going to be plus x minus five. Step two is going to be to factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. So looking at just the first two terms, notice how the greatest common factor would be seven x. So we'll factor out seven x from just the first two terms. That would leave us with x minus five. Now looking at the second two terms, notice how the only common factor they have would be positive one. And because we do have to factor something out, we'll factor out positive one. So if we factor out positive one, that doesn't really change anything. We'll be left with the quantity x minus five. Step three, we factor out the common polynomial factor. So whenever applying the factor by grouping technique, these products should always have a common polynomial factor, or in this case, a common binomial factor of x minus five. So now we want to factor out x minus five from these two products to complete the factoring. So if we factor out the quantity x minus five, notice how we'd be left with seven x plus one, which is the second factor. So this is the factored form of the given quadratic expression. And of course, if we want to check this, we could multiply this out, and let's go ahead and do this. We'd have the quantity x minus five times the quantity seven x plus one, and we'll have four products. We distribute the x, and then we distribute the negative five. So we'd have x times seven x, that's seven x squared. X times one, that's plus one x, or just plus x. We distribute the negative five. We have negative five times seven x, that's negative 35 x, or minus 35 x. And finally, negative five times one would be negative five, or minus five. So notice how this expression is equivalent to the given expression, even though the two middle terms are in a different order. Of course, we could go one more step further and combine these like terms. X minus 35 X is negative 34 X, or minus 34 X. And notice how this simplified expression is the same expression that we have up here in simplified form. I hope you found this helpful.